voice, I didn't make it through. Ah. But, I don't know, I've been working pretty hard on my voice since then. <laughs> do you do uh, voice classes, or? Yeah. I've had a vocal coach for now for, like, uh, two years. What? Uh -huh. just like yeah. So I've been trying to take it more seriously. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely get that done. Uh, I think the main thing is, um, okay, of course, technique is, is great, you know, staying on pitch is great and, and the skill, but the main thing is communicating uh, the emotion of the song, whatever that be, to the listener. And if you can do that, that's a skill that the vocal coaches usually can't teach. No one can really teach that unless they're experienced in that, you know, communicating either whether you write the song, whether it's a song that uh, has been written, and making them feel that, that emotion, you know what I mean? Because uh, I'm a judge on the X Factor, and that's one of the main things. Because anybody can kind of, a lot of people know how to do runs and yeah. skill. But when you can sit there and communicate, you know, even Michael Jackson, you know, was just a great communicator of the sentiment of the song. You know, Billie Jean is not my lover, she's just a girl that claims that I am the one or something. But, Billie Jean, you know, I mean, he's just excited about it. It's not so much the notes, you know, um, it's the, you know, it's, you know, that's how he feels about the thing. Um, or, you know, Lionel Richie is a good guy. Or, or even um, some of the newer guys. Or even, you know, Jodeci. You know, if you like R&B stuff, you listen to some of their stuff. And Brian McKnight's one of my... Brian McKnight. <laughs> you know. And you sing a Brian McKnight song and you really tap into the emotion. Whatever song. What's a, what's a, a, a popular song of his? Uh, like a backup one. And I could dream come true Two, just wanna be with you Three, you're in this plane to see That you're the only one for me And four, your pieces one through three Five, make you fall in love with me If ever I believe my work is done Start back in one yeah, yeah, that's good, man. That's good. That's real good. Yeah, so yeah, that sounded, that sounded, um, that's how I felt that. That, that sounded emotional, <laughs> you know. Um, and then, and then you, you get into, um, the, the concept of, okay, because I don't really remember, I know that song, I don't really remember how Brian McKnight sounds, um, but I think, I think he sounds similar to that, you know, I mean, like that thing. So then, but it, it's you and it's you're singing his song. Then you do a thing where you make sure, and this is the key, anybody's song you sing, you make it your own thing. You Once you find out what your voice is, I mean, you know, like 100%, uh, and, uh, and I don't really know, I, I need to hear more, but like, you know, like, uh, you know, like Michael Jackson, he had his voice, or, you know, right when you hear Bruno Mars, you know, you can tell it's his voice, you know, uh, and Brian McKnight, or uh, Stevie Wonder, you know, it's just, you could sing anybody's song, but it's always, you'd be like, oh, that's Stevie singing someone, you know, or like the Beatles, and they, they did all these covers, but they sung it their way, that's the you figure out your way, your thing, and you can sing all these songs, but it's you. What, what's your name again? Michael. Michael. And it's the way Michael sings it, that's when you get that fan base that says, oh, I want to see Michael's concert, and I want to, you know, and, he, and you could do a, a remake, but they're going to, you know, the girls, and then the fans, are, they're going to see Michael sing it the way Michael sings it. And if you can develop that, and you go to these voice places and you're searching for that who what's Michael's brand what is you know then uh, the sky's the limit there because that's how you 
get that following and that fan base, and they know Michael. You know more than just he can sing, he can he's good. You know, it's man the way Michael does it. I feel when I leave the show, man, I feel inspired, or I feel like you know whatever it is you want to make them feel, and that's what I did. Cause I just wanted to be you know Red Foo. I just wanted to sing the song. Um, and do the dance music. My whole thing was take dance music and write real songs to the dance music and not just shake your booty, shake, shake your booty, you know. And try to write love songs like La La La. Uh, I'm in Miami was a, tra a song and I was taking the, like, I'm a traveler and I'm traveling. And when I get to this place, I'm gonna be like, I'm in Miami, bitch, you know. Or shots, you know, it's like, I just wrote songs about things that were happening in my world, um, and people were taking shots at the club. And I was like, hey, this is good. You know, I can write a song about it. So, um, and then Heart of the Champion, you know, playing tennis, you know, um, you know, coaching Ayaka, and I wanted to, um, you know, do something for Vika and Inspire, and, and I saw, you know, Vika playing, and I was like, man, she got the Heart of the Champion, you know. Um, and that song, Eye of a Tiger, really inspired me, so I was like, I am a tiger. What else could it be? Oh, part of the um, and then we wrote the fist of a fighter, you know, all these things. And we just listen to that just now. We listen to it every day before we play and practice. And it just pumps us up, you know, so, and that's the brand of that song and, and, and that vibe. And as long as I communicate, and, uh, you know, and it's always red food. It's always my thing with animal print. I mean, I, I see this backpack and I said, I gotta have it. It's, great. It's, a, it's a girl's backpack. It looks, but it, you know, I might get it for my girl, but the point is, it said my name on it. I had to buy it, you know, because it, it's something cool, you know. So it's, I know my brand, and so once you realize that, whatever that is, um, and uh, you get, you use your influences as your influences, and then. You say, okay, those are my influences. That's what got me into music. That's why I love music. But now, who am I? You know, and I want to share who I am to the world and entertain them and make them excited. And, and you do it. But the voice is great, and the passion is there. So I would just keep it up, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I want to hear more. Maybe um, I'll give you my email. It's uh, redfoo at lafreak.com. Okay. Lafreak.com. I'm seeing around. And uh, R-E-D-F-O at lafreak.com. Yeah, send me some stuff, man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's good meeting you. Good meeting you. All right.